I'm Scott with Sean's Photography, and today we're going to kind of go over some arms and baby pins. I'm going to put these in my pocket so they're out of my way. Alright, on this one over here, we have a Kupo steel boom arm. Uh, nice advantage about this one is that your counterweight's back here. You use this one to extend out. And you have to you can use less counterweight. If I get it, if I'm pulling the right one in there, then uh, I would need on one of these. Of course, you can watch the video I already did on the Kupo arm. Also, when you get these here, most of the time they are hollow, so they have a little pin that runs through the spigot and holds the spigot on. They're not, I mean, they're solid, they handle a lot, and they'll bend just as easy as a solid rod. So this one here is a solid aluminum rod. It's very light, it's compact, um, or lighter than the steel arm that's hollow. This aluminum one is a lot um, lighter. But again, they do the same um, functionality. They boom out over your subjects. So basically, you get this guy out and just booms out right over to where you need. So basically it's a grip arm, it's not a boom arm, but a lot of people call them a boom arm, but it's a grip arm. Let's see. Most of the time you get these, if you're getting it with an arm, it'll come with two knuckles. So let me just move this one out of the way. I guess I should Tighten it down. That's dangerous. Move him out of the way. Most of the time, when you get these, you will have you'll get two knuckles. So one will be for mounting the arm, and the other one is for being at the end. So let me loosen this one up. And I'm probably rotating the wrong way, but. This is just for demonstration purposes anyway. And of course this one, no it doesn't have very nice. What they don't offer with these stands are junior pins. So as you can see on this one here, I got a Matthews knuckle. This is my drop down pin. But for only $10, when you buy your stand, buy a pin. There are two different kinds of pins. There's like this one here, and there's this one here. This one here has the junior pin at the end. So when you put your stand or put your light strobe onto the end of this, it's going to wobble if you are using an Ellen Chrome, Godox, Jim Buy, any kind of off-brand, and because of the uh, uh, distance between the span in between here and here is wider than this one here and here. So uh, you can DIY that. I think I explained that to an, in another video, explaining that. So, but this one here I like the best because it actually has a mushroomed end on the end that makes it a stopper, so it can't slide back out. So if we open this one up, slide this pin in, and we rotate this down like this, and we're down here on the end like we're supposed to be. We can loosen this up, and we can rotate this as our drop-down pin. So we move it around, we can kind of give it whichever way we want. But once it's like this, this mushroom keeps it from sliding out of the collar of the knuckle. Where, if I can get it out now, there we go. This one here, when we slide it in, it just slides right through. And that's kind of unsafe. So because when you loosen it up and you're gonna spin it, again, you can put this on this side and use this one on this side or opposite side. But normally I always put mine uh, pieces odd compared to a lot of other people. Um, 
This one here, actually, if you know you're not going to be moving it too much, you can slide it through your hole there. Let me go through the top. All right. And once you lock it in, I mean, it's going to be locked in there. It ain't coming back out. But this one has little dimples in it, and this is the actual one that fits the Godox, the Jim Buy, the Ellen Chrome, those off modifiers that don't fit the Junior pin. So this one has little dimples inside of it where it'll lock the screw into here so that the screw will not spin. Um, again, I bought, buy both of them. That way you're safe, not instead of uh, safe than sorry. Um, so I like either one. Again, if you're using Godox or any of those other ones, the uh, spigot hole inside the, the strobe is just too short to fit over this junior pin. So basically, you can wrap tape around that, put a rubber hose around that, heat the rubber hose up, slide it over, the, it'll shrink to the, to the edge of this, and that'll hold and keep your strobe from wobbling. Again, these are arms in junior pins. My name is Scott with Sean Photography, and thank you for watching.